Hey guys, what's up? We are back with a little bit more Banner Saga. We are in the climactic battle against this dude, Bellower. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make sure that all my units are fully upgraded as much as they can be. She needs this upgrade. Really needs that, I think, more than anything. Okay. And we're gonna go with Mogan, who also gets a promotion. I think he needs... doesn't really need much, does he? A little bit more armor. Okay, uh, then we're gonna go with Ivan, obviously. He doesn't need anything. Alette, uh, sorry. What's her name? God, Odalief. Yeah. And then, uh, probably... Ivor. Yeah. And I'm debating whether to change out for Hacken. Hacken gets a promotion, too. It might be better to have another giant handy. Atkins pretty tough, even with one arm. Wait, he's the one with one arm, not Ivor. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm thinking I'll replace Alette with Hacken. Alette just kind of sucks, honestly. She's not very good. Um. So yeah, two archers and a wizard should be enough. All right, let's do this thing. We lost last time. I don't know if you guys remember, but we lost. So we're gonna try this again. Yeah, that's the lineup we want. This is a tough, tough, tough paddle, but what I've learned is that if you can kill, if you can kill Bellower, I don't think you have to fight the rest of them. And the way that you kill him is you get all of his armor down and then you shoot him with the silver arrow so what we need to do is just super super focus him and I don't know if this is even gonna be possible because he's got some bodyguards that are pretty tough if we could kill this guy and this guy and I think we'd be fine with weathering the blows of the other guys so that's kinda what I'm considering Let's do like this. We'll send these guys up the middle. Although these are all archers. That's the only problem, isn't it? I can't really well protect them though. Let's just do like this. Let's see how this goes, okay? So Bellower is going to move first. And we do not want to get hit by Bellower. He packs a nasty punch. Then it's going to be this guy who can't hurt us. Then it's going to be this guy who can't hurt us. Then it's going to be this guy who can't hurt us. So I think what we do... I'd love to get a hit on this guy, but it's going to cost me. That's too close. She can get hit by Bellower if she does that. But you know what? If Bellower were to move up to there, that would be really excellent for us. Because we'd be... we then have him surrounded. So I think that this is the thing to do. It does use two of her willpower, which is less than ideal. But it also allows us to start working on his armor. We're going to end up using all of her willpower. But this guy will go from 16 to actually hittable. Now Bellower is just going to do that. And that basically seems like it just takes one, damage, uh, one HP and one health from all of us. Which sucks. Which really, really sucks. So all we're going to be able to do now is get back in a position, right? Yeah, his strength, he actually heals himself, which makes it, like, fucking impossible. But we're going to do our best. Move up by her. Give her the extra defense. Okay, need to get my wizard back over there. He's going to hit... Hacken, or Mogan, for like four armor damage, which sucks big time. If we move Odalief here, though, we'll be able to hit him for armor damage again. And then he'll be killable. Okay? These guys we're not concerning ourselves with too much yet. 
Uh, would love to get our giant up to the front, but Odalief's gonna have to be by the way. I'm not gonna be able to reach. Stunned. Why am I stunned? That's weird. Alright, so we're gonna be able to do tons of damage to this guy. And knock him way the hell back, which is great. Bellor is gonna come forward and hit Alette. Okay. He's gonna kill her, but now he is in a position where we can just focus fire him. Pretty much exclusively. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'll go with a bloody flail. To hopefully get some of that armor down. Yeah. Okay, we gotta keep going with that. Just ignore everybody else. Doesn't matter, we gotta just ignore everyone else. Although, what we could do is shock these guys. Let's do that. Just make them a lot less damaging to us. I think that's gonna carry over, isn't it? No, it's not. Fuck. Okay. Mistake there. As long as Hacken's alive, he can do bloody flail. We just need to keep wailing on his armor as much as is possible. Fuck. Okay. We'll get another shot with him. Get our giant up in here if we can. Block him off, that's good. Seven, what? Jesus. That's, that's rough, man. Down to 11 now. Hacken's gonna die. No, he's not. I mean, Mogan. He's gonna be able to sacrifice himself or should we do a bloody flail? I think we do a bloody flail here. Yes, he's gonna die, but so be it. If we can get him down, we'll be able to finish this. Yes, he's dead, I know. All right, we could shock these two, or we could possibly shock these three. I think we try that. I still don't understand exactly how it works. It says it continues diagonally, so does this guy count? I think he counts. Let's try it. And he is diagonal, right? No, it's not gonna count that. Either. He's gonna do that bullshit, which also heals him. I don't know. We can just get him down. Doesn't. It's not looking good right now, though. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. How the hell do you make this happen? She's gonna have to sacrifice herself. He'll be down to seven, but then he's gonna heal. Giant's gonna die. So Odalief can finish his armor, and then as long as Rook stays alive, we might be able to do this. No, you can't finish his armor. Is there any way to give you more willpower? There's not. Okay. We might be able to do this. I can't shoot him with the arrow yet. No, I can. It's 100%. Let's do it. Silver arrow to the face. What happens now? Do we win? He's got me. Got me in his hand. Shit. Oh man, what's gonna happen? We gotta fight more? Is that me? No, Dad, please help him. Finish Bellower now. I don't know if I can do it with this crew. So that was just the first round. Jeez. They've also got a mender now. Okay, we'll do our best here. At least we got our willpower back. I don't know if we can do it with that. 
They are becoming hard to control. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I've got to fight my way to him, don't I? All armor there. All right, do we shock him or... Yeah, I mean, I guess we focus on this guy. Then we can come around and deal with Bellor. Let's put one down there just in case he tries to come at us. Go there. Why am I stunned? I, I don't understand that. He's gonna buff them up. Okay, Alette still can't do shit. He's super weak, man. He really is. She's a very weak character. He's injured, though. Bellower's gonna come there. We are gonna be able to... Do we abandon this guy and go for Bellower? I don't have the willpower to even get to him. Let's go right here and then just whack him. We'll need the we'll get the willpower from that kill. That'll be nice. This will put us in a decent position. Finish him off. No. Okay. Do we try to deal with him or my giant in there? He will respond to every strike. Alright, let's get here with a let, start working on this dude's armor. I believe is what we have to do, right? Oh, uh, don't kill Alette. I'm gonna kill him, okay. Uh, let's move here with our w wizard and then see if we can maybe get a shock off. Boom. Weaken him significantly. Uh, okay, so we shocked ourselves. I did not know that that was possible. Fuck. <laughs> Let's pin him down. I should have done two, but save us some willpower there. He lashes out for every blow he takes. I'm going to rest up with my giant. I want to give him another shocker. Move here. Shock the shit out of him. We don't have enough willpower. He's gonna get stuck. Excellent. Only one damage, though. You come away. Throw one down right there, I think. He's going to buff or heal or whatever. I'm going to come over here and knock him back, I think. Into that one. Didn't didn't do anything to that one. Okay. He's going to hit hit us. We want to shock him again, but we don't have enough willpower. What we do is go back a bit and then rest. Oh, no, we can't rest once, once we move. Duh. Yeah, I don't see us winning this. Nope. Definitely not if you do that. So does this mean we lose the game again, or what? Yep. And we did better than we did last time. We can't do anything here. We just got to run away almost. I mean, it doesn't 
Doesn't make sense to keep running away. It's not gonna do us any good. Okay, they've lost some armor but gained some strength. Yeah, he's just like totally healing, so... Anyway, there's nothing we can do. We might as well just kamikaze it. Yeah, it's over. Uh, does that mean we have to start over? Yeah. Gone in an instant. That's life, huh? So, I have to start from the beginning of the beginning. Alright. That's mildly frustrating, but what I'm going to do, I guess, is just break this up into episodes every attempt. Because, uh... I mean, I'm assuming that this is kind of supposed to take you a few tries. This is the only time in the game where I've had it say, you know, game over, so... I'm going to keep trying, but I will break them up into episodic fights so that, uh... You know you guys can see what how my tactics evolve and stuff like that if it gets to be too much if it gets to be like I'm failing and failing then I'll probably just do it off camera and then maybe or, or maybe just show the one that I actually succeed with I'll just record them all show the one that actually wins but that's a lot of work <laughs> anyway I'm still enjoying the game a lot it's not gotten to the frustrating point yet I'm gonna give it like two or three more tries and then we'll kind of step back and discuss how to deal with it thanks for watching and I'm Dallas Sue. I'll see you later bye